Hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome to another episode. Thank you for joining us. I am joined again, some, uh, someone I've missed on the show because he was not here. You have not been here for like two episodes. Is it two episodes or three episodes? Because yeah, two episodes. Me. No, you were busy. You were working. Last. No, I'm always busy. <laughs> and you're the one yes, Yes, you are. So we are joined by Salah. Myself and Salah, we're going to go into some things. It's not going to be a straightforward topic, but there are some things that we want to talk about that has been bothering us. And we have been discussing these things because every time I have something, I talk to him and he'll be like, yeah, yeah, he'll yeah. Ask my and about. <laughs> every time you have something, you'll talk to me. Yes, you know, right. It's a good practice that if you have something, Yes, uh, bothering you. You talk to someone, someone yes. you trust, or someone you felt good talking with. Yes, I saw someone. I saw something on the internet. I saw something on on Facebook. I will read it to you. It, it's something that actually really touched me, and I was like, "Wow, wow, wow!" I'm gonna find it now. We'll find it tomorrow. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Oh, please, China. If you found the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. Second, I'm gonna read this to you. You see, did you know? Okay, you can read it together. Did you know seafaring is the most dishonest profession? I've read that. Yeah. Oh, you have done? Yeah. Yeah. So, did you know seafaring is the most dishonest profession? Number one, they always look good. Number two, they always look cool. Number two, they have plenty of money. Oh, that's Number why three. people are borrowing money. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, they are always happy. Number four, they are always, always have a good food and eat a lot. And number five, they are always healthy. Number six, they are always fine. Number seven, they, and that their jobs are easy. And then, paragraph these are all lies they will never tell you the most that most of the time they look good and that their job is not as cool as they want things they will never tell you that they are always run out of money they will never tell you they are sad they will never tell you that sometimes they can't bear to eat the food that is served on their table they will never tell you when they are sick they will never tell you when things don't go smoothly they will never tell you that the job is difficult and that the mental, emotional and physical stress is high, is so high. They will only tell you that they are okay, everything is okay, life will be better and that we are all going to be fine. They will only tell you when they are, when will they be home, but sometimes they ain't coming back. Yeah, this is a Second mate, where did you go? I'm just here. Please come back to me. I'm waiting for you to finish about this. Thing. No, <laughs> but this is something that touched me because I mean, it. Some of it is true. Well, most of it is true. I don't think we 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 feel like when you are sick or you are just feeling some things. Do you tell your family? Do you communicate to them that I'm not good? I'm not yes. well. Like I'm having cough, I'm having headache, but sometimes I'm migraine. I yeah, tell them. but sometimes it's not about having like migraine or sometimes you just feel, you know, those annoying feeling when you feel disconnected, you feel uh, lost, and just the annoying feeling sometimes that you will have at sea. You, the ones that you cannot explain. I, I don't have those. <laughs> You're so lying. Sorry. Yes. You're lying. No. I'm a happy person. So. No, come on. You do. Of course you do have those feelings. So. I don't. I'm so sorry. Yes. So we're going to talk about. Um, Seafarers are rich something. Plenty money something kind of things. That's what we're going to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So the reality versus expectation. Let's talk about that because um, at home sometimes they think, "Oh, he's traveling the world, he's living life, he is happy," but they don't know that actually I'm going through some things. You know, I am going through something. Sometimes I don't want to wake up. I when I wake up, I feel like, "Damn, I feel like shit." You know. 
and the only time that at home sometimes they are happy is when they receive money on the payday but they don't actually know that hey this guy is struggling blah 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 how, how do you feel up I, I think you have a different we me and you have a different story when it comes yeah. to family because i think you have your family is big and you communicate with them a lot yes I do. and yeah and for me i've mentioned this on the last episode uh, my siblings are young they are younger than me you know they are still in school like grade 10. okay i i talk to them but not all the times and so, sometimes these uh i mean i cannot like tell them hey <laughs> this month this 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 happened you know you cannot talk to kids like that but um yeah someone like me who don't have that large yeah yeah that large community or family ta -ra -ra -ta. because in your place there's a lot of witches i know right <laughs> please <laughs> people do witch you there so please okay. focus yeah so the, these these are some of the things that i wish my family just knew you know that sometimes it's shitty you know i'm I, i'm not a perfect human being um and they should not expect a lot from me. They should just appreciate yeah, the little think, things that I they think get. They appreciate it. So. Yeah, they should appreciate a lot. They because, did. Yeah, yeah. They always do. Yeah. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. One thing about I, I want to talk about is like uh, friendships. Let's talk about friendships. Friends, a friend who message you only when you ha they're asking for money, something like that. <laughs> well, well, I don't want to lose my friends, but <laughs> okay. Tell but, me about that friend who asked for money. Oh, second ways. <laughs> don't so, put him. So he, he told me. Okay, so listen. Okay. This is that I was talking to him or off air. I was talking to you off air, right? I'm telling you. Okay. No, those, I, I, I those, don't mind. I you don't, don't. You don't. Don't be afraid to lose friends. They are not true this, friends. You know, they only asked you for money, so you 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 should, you know, cut ties with them. Friendship if they're only asking for money, like for. He told told me he is asking for money for his girlfriend's birthday. Right. Yeah. Am I right? Yes. Yes. So, yes. The fuck, right? Why would you ask somebody for your girlfriend's birthday? It's your girlfriend. You're the one screwing it, so you should pay for it. Oh my day. god! Right? <laughs> that sounded so. That sounded so crazy when you're saying it offline. But uh, you know, I I do have friends, and uh, one of my friends have been going through a rough time, and I was there for him. You know, uh, I was there for him. I was supporting him. But it, it, it comes then to a question. I mean, I am a people pleaser, right? So if you ask me something, I, I will say, it's hard for me to say no, even if I am because not. Because you have I'm a good not, heart. Yes, I'm, I'm, I know that. Yeah, because I'm not in a situation, even if I'm not in a situation to help, but it's, it's just going to be hard for me to like say no. I will bend myself backwards I, to I, try I to can help. I feel you because we have yeah. a good heart. So yes. we end up giving a lot a more, lot more than that, we should receive. like nothing is left for us right 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 so then it comes to a point like when do you actually um stop or draw the line of yes. saying oh okay this is how much i can help you and yeah i i i, I do believe it comes back to communication but sometimes it's just hard for me to say you know what this is how much I have, and this is how much I can help because you. They won't believe you because they they, 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 yeah. they thought you're they, they're thinking you have a lot of money. But this is again, mate. I may have some money with me, but I have expenses to do. I yes. have I need to pay for my house a month. I need to. Uh, you have to send save money for home. the rainy days, I need right? To, I, right now, I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I, I'm preparing to go back to school, so I'm saving money for school. So. I mean, and you know, I was telling you that I actually stopped using WhatsApp from some, from some time, or I just block some messages because um, because the messages she's receiving is just people asking for money for nonsense things, like a friend of him asking money to buy trousers. Like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> a friend of him asking money 
for the please. girlfriend's birthday party. It's it's not so. I, I'm, this 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 thing is for I'm this not. kind of people who's asking money for some okay don't. useless things. You know, it's it's not an emergency or something. So you, you stop asking because money is not it's it's not easy to get. You know. You have to work hard for it, and you're asking for money just to buy trousers. My I God, know. I never did that. I, I used to borrow money before, but yeah. I didn't borrow money. Oh, I like these trousers, or I like these clothes. Can can you give me money? I want to buy it. Part. It's, <laughs> um, yeah. When you and, put it like that, yeah, people are crazy. They they think if they think that you have money, they will ask you for some stupid things. You know, stupid. They will ask for money to buy stupid things that they mm. don't need <clears throat> exactly. Right. Of course, I help when I think it's due. Uh, for, I was telling you about yeah. like paying application fees for my for my for my relatives uh, who are doing my trick. But um, you know, I don't want to feel used. You get what I yes. mean. I, I want to help when I feel like it's genuine. But I, I I do not. I think everyone can relate to this. Everyone who's listening, it's hard for me to like help when i think you 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 just see me as someone who's going to help yes yeah like they're using you, know, you like <coughs> oh even if like you, you you think because um uh because you have an idea that okay he works at c that he has yeah. money he was shopping, i don't have the right to say shopping no every time oh. if so on facebook is <laughs> shopping every time he must have some plenty of money so i will yeah. borrow money from him that's people's yeah thinking so people will suddenly when you posted something oh yeah you buy this and things like that they will message you and ask for money right they, because they so, think you are rich right so now there may be people who are feeling like me who are listening and you, you do feel exhausted i i just feel exhausted because what the hell every time you ask me something now i need to feel bad of of of, of not, I'm gonna say yes, no, you yes, know, you yes, feel yes, guilty of, of yes. your own. Sometimes but, you don't even have it, really. Sometimes yes. it's just like it's not there. Sometimes you have, you have, just like some, now. But it's, you are it's, struggling it's, now, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you you have some, but it's just enough for you, you know. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. Your, for, for your budget, yes. we have and, budgets. I yes. mean, I don't know. I, I don't for, have. You should set aside for around. emergency, right? Right, right. And like people will borrow. It. So there are some who I, I like. I don't already have money. Like I strip my bank account, right, just to send to them. You know, <clears throat> so because they use their money, they want for a vacation. Okay, okay. I can't even go for a vacation. You know, okay. Because I'm saving my money, but these people just go to vacation and ask for money. People message me, oh, sir, do you have money? Then I said money. And then suddenly I saw him on vacation. Oh my you know, God. And, and when they go home, they stay in a hotel for like 10 days. Okay. Come on, you're wasting your money. If, if you go home, just stay in a hotel for three days, then go back home to your home. You okay. know, <clears throat> to your home home. You are not going to pay anything there. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like being practical. So if I go home, I if my friends offer me a place to stay, I mm. stay there. If not, I will I will stay in a hotel or maybe Airbnb for like 3 days just to finish everything then I go home. Okay. Okay. I should finish everything because if I don't finish and I go home, I have to go back again. I will spend a lot of money, but I don't stay in hotels for a long time and I don't party every you save your night money. yes you save your money like, yeah. uh, there's the bright party every night or every friday night right. i only party when a friend told me oh i i just came home yes oh where are you we're going to party of course when i go home i will ask them also who's there and we're going to party just one time yeah i was i was thinking about a uh, you know because sometimes okay there are people who are asking you and you you have your own people that you know they're gonna yes. help you when you're yes, going yes. through to a lifetime, right? You have those people like so and so. I know we are friends, and if I ask something, they're gonna help you. But then you have these people that you know they come on the side, <laughs> yes. and you really don't understand. Yes. Like 
Yeah. Friends message me, borrow money, I send them money, and yeah. now I'm the one looking for money. Right, right, right. You know, your money. Yeah. I'm, I'm, look, mean, I'm looking okay, for money because yes, yes. my sister asked me for money, or I have to to give money to my nephew. So I'm looking for money now, and nobody can give me money. <laughs> right, right. I end up giving all, <clears throat> sending all my money to those people who ask, and now I end up nowhere to borrow nowhere money. To go. Yes, nowhere to go. Hello again, guys. I'm sorry to disturb your listening. This was a very interesting topic, and I think we can all relate to the subject of. Uh, money talks and people pleasing for me i i think the the moment where i saw that it i had to do something about it was when i was starting to to take decisions with my family uh matters or my family arrangement to take decisions that were not in alignment with the direction that i wanted to go in life but it was sort of to make everyone around me happy and I, I sort of took the role of being a fixer and I, I, I saw that, you know what, as much as I want to fix everything, but it seems like I will always be fixing everything. It's, not, it's never going to end. And that was the time when I, I started to actually question what, what do I really want to do? So wrap it up, second mate. So the lesson in this today's episode is yeah. you don't need to like please everyone like if they ask for you you cannot you can you can you know you can uh, deny of giving them because do what feels you, right to you. Yes, they they are not your responsibility. Right. You, know, you have a family. You have mouths to feed. Yes. You have bills bills to pay. You have to set aside have something self, for emergency. You have, you have so self care. Yes. To take care of. Because if one day you need something like, for example, money, you need money for emergency and you don't have that because you already sent to some random or people you're not close with borrows money, right. then where will you go? Like me, I like chatted my friends, but they're kind of having some problem or they cannot send money online so because they're yeah, on board yeah. now yeah. or some will be the money will be paid uh yeah on yeah, the yeah. middle of the month so right, right, it's right. still far so i need the money so mm. that's why you not you need to save for yourself for don't yourself. think about the others mm. who doesn't think about you And I want to emphasize that if you learn something new or you start to ch change the direction that you were, let's say, supporting your family or supporting your friends and you have prioritized uh, new goals in life, let them know. Let them know that, hey, guys, this is something that I'm working on, so I am no longer going to be able to afford to do one, two, three, four, five that's the communication that you need to set and and let it let it be clear okay maybe some of them will feel some type of way about you now and not you know about not not them benefiting from you as usual but think i always think about the people that are my friends in real life and are my family members in real life and they they love me they cherish me and usually they don't they don't they don't get anything from me but they just love whenever i talk to them so if someone shows me the different side when i, I state my my new plans or my new uh, priorities then that is all i need to know i mean that is an answer for itself which means you just saw me as someone who could help you and not really because you cared about me you just saw as someone that you could use all the time they asked you then suddenly one time you cannot give them you become a greedy person. That's how That's they true. look at you. That's true. That's no. true. <clears throat> That's true. So. They forget all the time. You know. Yes. They for one moment and then oh, yes. the tide is ten. So if you have that kind of people in your life, even their friends, family, or whatever, yeah. just cut them away from you. They, they, you don't, you don't deserve them. You don't need them. They don't deserve you. You know. Oh. Yes, amen, uh, sister. <laughs>
Okay, thank you guys for listening today. It was a short episode and quite all over the place. But the lesson, the lesson as Salah is saying, the lesson is to remember that, you know what, you are doing enough in the world and just follow what your heart tells you. What is important for you is to feel good about what you are doing and do it with intention, as Oprah will say. What is your intention? Why are you doing what you are doing? So just ask yourself that before you, you go ahead. Okay, thank you guys for tuning in. Do check out our other episode and we will see you on the next one. Toodles.